Chris Wallace with Fox News Sunday joins us this morning. Can you believe we're comparing frame by frame by frame? That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I have to say, look, uh, let me just say this. I covered the White House for six years with Sam Donaldson. We were pretty tough, aggressive reporters covering mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan. We never did anything like Jim Acosta did. And he was rude, he was disrespectful, he was disrespectful to the president, he was disrespectful to his colleagues who also wanted to ask questions. I, I don't think he's put the intern in the hospital, but clearly she was trying to take the microphone from her, and, she, and he put his arm to stop her. I mean, he didn't assault her, but he certainly did make contact with her. That's not the real point. The point is he acted like a showboat and I thought embarrassed himself. Now, having said that, do I think the White House should have put out a doctored tape? No. Do I think the White House should have pulled his pass? No. But I, you know, in, in fairness, I did talk to a top White House official yesterday who said, look, we can't have a guy in one of these news conferences being so brazenly rude and disrespectful to the president, and I think Acosta is guilty of that. Uh, and, you know, what, what would you have us do? I, I think one thing, and this is the real point, mm -hmm. one thing that, uh, that, that the president could have done is not called on Acosta. Exactly. Uh, but to some, In the beginning. But to, some de hmm. but to some degree, I think they both wanted this. Acosta wants <laughs> to be a showboat and to get attention, and I think the president likes to see reporters acting in a rude way because it helps him make his case that there are fake media out right. there. Right. So, the, the, the you know, reason they both, got what, they both got what they wanted right. and neither, none of us, the rest of us were very well served. Right. The, the, the reason he had the microphone in his hand in the first place was because the president called on him. And the reason the I microphone agree. then went to the next guy, Peter Alexander from NBC, who the president also criticized, is because the president called on him. I agree. But having said that, <laughs> the president did tell Acosta to sit down about four times. Let me tell you, if the president of the United States, I, I understand. I mean, look, let me make my big point here, uh, as long as we're getting into this, Tim, <laughs> which is I think the president goes way over the line in his attacks on the media. And I've said so when he calls us the enemy of the people. I think it's terrible. Having said that, I think too many reporters are taking the bait. And, you know, just because he does things he shouldn't do doesn't mean that that gives us an excuse. We're not, we shouldn't get in arguments with him. We should be reporters, stay in our lane, fact check him, call out things that he says that are wrong. But, you know, we shouldn't match invective with invective. And when you do that, you're only playing his game. That's true. And that's Good a mistake point. for us.